All right. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a double exposure effect in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. So there are two things we wanna keep in mind when we create a double exposure in Photoshop. One of those things is you wanna make sure your subject is on a completely white background if possible. The second thing we wanna do is have our subject match the background. We have a dancer mixed with a concert. The two have about the same energy. We're putting them together right now. So here we are in Photoshop, and don't forget you can download these sample images on flurn.com. Just click on the link right up here. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our move tool and go ahead and click and drag from one image to another. So in this case, we're gonna take our concert and bring it right over to our dancer and hit F for full screen. Now I actually wanna place my dancer right above the concert. So let's go ahead and double click on our background layer to turn it into a regular layer and bring it up right over top. Now, our subject is on a pretty light colored background, but we wanna make it even brighter. So we're gonna right click, we'll go ahead and convert this to a smart object, and then hit Control or Command L for our levels. Now, what we wanna do is just make our whites a little bit brighter. It's okay if they even get like really bright in this case. Okay, there we go. That looks fantastic. And we're gonna use screen blending mode. It's gonna make all of these lights visible with the dark areas invisible showing the area underneath. So let's go ahead and change it from normal down to screen and you can actually now get an idea of the photo underneath. Now in this case, we're off to a good start. We just need to take our concert and start moving this around. And you can see basically how it just shows up in the area where my subject is. Now, if we want to make our subject a little bit more visible, simply create a layer mask here and paint black on our layer. There we go. And this is gonna make our subject's face a little bit more visible, completing the effect. And to finish this off, we're gonna to go to create a new layer on top of everything. Go ahead and grab B for your brush tool and just paint white just to fill everything out that didn't get filled when we used our original levels adjustment. Or if you photograph someone completely on white, you don't have to do this step. Let's go ahead and take a look at our image full screen. Here's our before and the after. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wanna get more free tutorials every single week, click right up here to subscribe. YouTube thinks you're gonna like that video there. And if you wanna learn even more advanced techniques in Photoshop, check out Flurn Pro right up here. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.